good news is there are so many different pant shapes that are in for spring. Uh, the difficult thing is what shoes do you wear with them and how do you make it work? We've got our stylist Eva Gravesic here to help us. <laughs> If you're into a crop pant or a high-waisted pant, I love a high-waisted pant. I don't care if they're in style or not. I'm always going to wear them. Yes, and you should because you can. Yeah, why not? Because you know your shape and you know what yep. works for you. Um, but today is sort of talking about the different lengths, um, how to style them properly, and what shoes to wear with them because yeah. it can be confusing. It can be confusing. Because there's so much choice now, it's sort of overwhelming. Yeah. And I'm six feet tall, and I love pants. And for me, it's like, can Aww. I find ones that fit you? And it's a challenge accepted, and I had like... <laughs> A closet full of them because I'm always afraid they're not going to make them my length. Right. So the first thing I want to tell everyone out there is when you're looking for pants, if if you're tall, get the tall. If you mm -hmm. are short, get the petite. Mm -hmm. And if you're regular, get the regular. Because that really makes the first bit of difference okay. is that length because it's really made for your body. Yes. So make sure you shop for your height. Okay, so make sure you are looking at the specifications in the yes. pant because that's good, what's going to make the difference. Yes, it is. I am loving the fact that a pajama pant is now universally it accepted is. in the streets <laughs> of the city. <laughs> So you're wearing pajama yes. pants and you feel really great and you feel relaxed and then you think to yourself, okay, I can't wear my gym sneakers with this. You are so right, Tracy. Then you've gone wrong. You've gone in the wrong direction right. with it. So what are your options okay. with pajama pants? So we've did an elevated pajama pant, this beautiful yes. floral. And the one thing I want to say, if they are a long pajama pant and if they are a wide and long pajama pant, you have to make sure that you have the proper heel shoe height with it. Mm -hmm. So if you like them long, make sure that you you keep them lengthened but if you like to wear a flat you have to get them hemmed yeah because what happens is they drag on the floor they get dirty and it looks sloppy and you're gonna see a lot of people who still like to have their pants really really long yes it's wrong I'll tell <laughs> it's you wrong. why Don't it's do wrong it. I'll tell you why because you can't see the shoe Yes. And then it sits like this long and it, it scrapes the bottom. So when you're doing your pajama pants or a wide leg pant, make sure you pay attention to your heel height. That is the okay. most important lesson of the day is heel height. Okay, so you've got some flats here. Yes. You've got a very short heel and all of those will work. All of those will work as long as you get them hemmed properly. Hem, hem them properly. So you want to see a little bit of ankle you maybe. You do. With your... Well, you can if you like an ankle, but you at least want to see the tip of the shoe. Tip of the shoe. And popping through. That's, That's fair. really important. Okay, now this shape is a tough one I think yes. for a lot of us. Um, um, it's a high-waisted pant. Yes, but it's also cropped. It's cropped. It is. It's, it's like the two of the hardest things to do. Yeah, um, are high-waisted paired with cropped. And you and I talked about this. First of all, if you have a really great waist, this is a pant for you. Yeah, show it Cause off. Because it's going to show off your beautiful waist. You have a great waist. That's why you Thank love you. them. Thank you. However, when you're looking at that cropped mm -hmm. detail, the problem is if it's cropped too high, it's going to cut you in the widest part of your leg, mm -hmm. and then you're going to see it's off. Yes. So the two options are either you can't buy them or or if there's enough fabric, get them taken out. Right. Because that'll give you an extra inch or two, and good pants will have that extra fabric yes. to let you do that. Okay. So think about that. Look and at the shoe options here. These are interesting. So you've got a mule there. Yes. You've got sort of a Sand. flat sandal, like a flat form, um, and also like a brogue slash lo loafer. A yes, loafer there. you know why? Because when you have a cropped pant, it's, this is a casual crop, like yeah. it's not too wide, not too short. You really have a lot of shoe options. Okay. Whether they're high, whether they're short, whether they're big and clunky, you can yes. really do whatever you want because there's not a lot of going around around your ankles. That's right. And that's really the key. So if you have a lot going around your ankles, you're not going to want to clunky shoe because you're going to look clunky in them. But yeah. because this one's really cropped and it's high waisted, you can really have fun with it you and show off it. your waist. The only thing is if you have a really short waist, mm. watch out for the sausage boob area. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Because it, because it'll really come under your chest, ladies, yeah. and really accentuate that. So you that's just want right. to be careful where that high waisted pant hits you in the waist. Got it. Makes sense. And you'll know when it doesn't look right. You will. You'll be yeah. able I have that happen to me quite a bit. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about uh, cropped again, but we've got a crop flare. A flare, yes. And this is really fun. A crop flare should actually be a bit longer. Okay. Um, than a crop. It should be really about around your ankle. Because it goes out around your ankle, what tends to happen, if it's not sitting around there, you're going to look wider. Right. So if it flares at the widest part of your leg, nice and skinny, and it really shows off that shoe. And right. you can wear whatever shoe you want. Just make sure it matches the pant. 
Okay. So if you're going to wear a jean, you can wear a sneaker. If you're going to wear this really pretty um, elevated crop flare, make sure your sneakers are clean and pretty and nice. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, really make sure it looks like a, a streamlined sneaker. You can wear straps around your ankle, especially if nice. they're really, really skinny. Show off those really skinny ankles. Or a classic heel. Okay, so the good thing yeah. about a crop pant is that your shoe is going to be on display. It is. It's so really, put it out there. Yes, put a nice put shoe out there. out there. I, you know what? It's tis the season where you know, <laughs> naked legs and stuff yes, like that. Have fun with it. That's right. One other point about the uh, sneakers, though. I follow people around now with the white sneakers. I'm like, how are they not stepping on anything that I'm stepping on? I don't even understand. I know, right? How do they keep them so clean? I literally watch them walking down the Wipes. sidewalks. Wipes. Sneaker wipes. Or you have to treat them as yes. soon as you get home. You do. So you know do. who you are. If you're into that sort of thing, then you can have the white sneaker. And then you know what? If you don't want to wear white sneaker, there's so many color options there out there. I mean, look, I've got pink, I've got blue, whatever you yeah, want. Absolutely. Okay, thank you for those tips, Eva.